mixture problem. And what we're going to do is let X equal the number of milliliters of brand one, which happens to be 5% vinegar, and Y equal the number of milliliters in brand two, which is 14% vinegar. Now, you don't have to draw a little diagram like this, but it helps to see what's going on. Here's brand one. We don't know exactly how many milliliters it is, uh, but 5% of it is vinegar. And brand two, we're letting Y represent the number of milliliters of this brand of Italian dressing. 14% of it is vinegar. And we want to end up with a mixture. We know how many milliliters it is, 330. And we want 11% of that 330 to be vinegar. So we have two variables. We need two unknowns. And kind of an obvious one is that the number of milliliters of brand one plus the number of milliliters of brand two has to total 330 because that's what we want to end up with. So there is equation number one right there. And the second equation comes from the fact that the amount of vinegar in this mixture plus the amount of vinegar in this brand has to equal 11% of the mixture. So there it is, 5% of brand 1 plus 14% of brand 2 equals 11% of the 330 total milliliters in the mixture. Uh, the way I would solve this is I would use the substitution method. So equation one might become y equals 330 minus x. Uh, I don't like to work with decimals, so I would multiply every term in this equation by 100 to get rid of the decimals. And that just moves the decimal point two places to the right in each of these decimals. And finally, I would substitute this expression for y into this equation. So 5x plus 14 times 330 minus x is equal to, well, I used a calculator to do that. 11 times 330 is 3630. Uh, distribute the 14, combine similar terms, divide both sides by negative 9, and there's the number of milliliters of brand 1. There's the number of milliliters of brand two, because these two have to add up to 330. And here's the calculator sanity check. 5% of 110 milliliters is 5.5. 14% of 220 is 30.8. 11% of 330 is 36.3. And these two amounts of vinegar do add up to the total amount of vinegar. So there you go. There you go. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, post a comment.